good morning students this is mahender lecturer in mathematics today we are going to discuss one more questions okay one more questions and answers okay uh, these are uh, frequently asked questions in exams okay let us discuss uh, the questions and the answers okay now question number 1 uh, express uh, sin 5a minus sin 3a as a product okay Express sin 5a minus sin 3a as a product. So, write the value, given value, sin 5a minus uh, sin 3a. Okay, it is in the form of uh, sin c minus sin d. That is equal to into cos of c plus d by 2 into sin of c minus d by 2. Here, c as 5a, d as 3a. Substitute in this formula. That is 2 into cos of 5a plus 3a by 2 into sin of 3, 5a minus 3a by 2. 5a plus 3a is 8a by 2, 5a minus 3a is okay, 2a divided by 2, 2 into cos of 8a by 2 into sin of 2a by 2, okay, 2 1s are 2 4s are 2 1s are 2 1s are, okay, we get 2 into cos 4a into sin a, okay, express sin 5a minus sin 3a as a product, the product is 2 into cos 4a into sin a. This is the solution. Okay. Now let us discuss a uh, second one. If uh, a is equal to a b c d, then uh, find a inverse. Okay. If we given value, write the given value that is a is equal to a b c d. A b c d is a matrix. It is a square matrix. Okay. The given matrix is a square matrix. We have to find out uh, the value of a inverse. That is uh, inverse of the matrix a. Okay, A is equal to A, B, C, D is a square matrix. Then A inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of A. That is A, D minus B, C. Okay, 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A. Adjoint of A value is D minus B minus C, A. Okay, therefore inverse of A. Okay, inverse of the matrix is is a inverse is equal 1 by a d minus b c into d minus b minus c a this is a inverse of the matrix of a mat a inverse of the square matrix of order 2 by 2 okay now next question find the value of delta is equal to determinant of 1 2 2 2 1 2 2 2 1 okay this is a Ma uh, this is a determinant of the matrix we have to find out the value of a determinant okay this is a 3 by 3 determinant of a matrix we have to find out a 3 by 3 determinant of a square mat uh, determinant of a matrix okay write the delta value that is a del determinant of 1 2 2 2 1 2 2 2 1 okay first one uh, 1 into 1 into cofactor of 1 that is uh, deleting row and column we get uh, determinant of 1 2 2 1 okay next uh, plus 2 into uh, sorry minus 2 into okay deleting uh, uh, minus 2 into cofactor of 2 that is that means uh, deleting row and column okay deleting t shape okay first deleting uh, okay f shape second one deleting t shape okay minus 2 into my uh, cofactor of 2 that is uh, deleting t shape okay determinant of 2 2 2 1 plus uh, 2 into okay plus 2 into cofactor of 2 deleting 7 shape okay we get uh, determinant of uh, 2 1 2 2 okay 2 1 2 2 now, okay here uh, determinant of a b c d means a d minus b c 1 into 1 1 is a 1 minus 2 2 is a 4 minus 2 into determinant of a b c d that means a d minus b c 2 1 is a 2 minus 2 2 is a 4 plus 2 into determinant of 2 1 2 2 2 2 is a 4 minus 1 2 is a 2 okay 1 minus 4 is minus 3 2 minus 4 is minus 2 4 minus 2 is plus 2 okay 1 into minus 3 is minus 3 minus 2 into 2 minus 4 is minus 2 minus into minus is plus 2 2 is a 4 2 2 is a 4 4 plus 4 is 8 8 minus 3 is 5 therefore the determinant value is 5 this is a determinant of a square matrix of order 3 by 3 okay next discuss uh, fourth problem okay if sine inverse of 3 by 5 is equal to a find the value of cos a and tan a okay find the values of cos a and tan a if sine inverse of 3 by 5 is equal to a given uh, given the value sine inverse of 3 by 5 is equal to a so we can written as uh, okay sin a is equal to 3 by 5 sin a means uh, opposite side by hypotenuse form a right angle triangle here opposite side given opposite side value is 3 hypotenuse value is 5 okay we have to find out the value of adjacent side value 
okay we this is a right angle triangle in right angle triangle square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides hypotenuse whole square is equal to opposite side whole square plus adjacent side whole square okay then uh, adjacent side whole square is equal to hypotenuse whole square minus opposite side whole square adjacent side is equal to under root of hypotenuse whole square minus opposite side whole square substitute the values hypotenuse value is 5 op opposite side value is 3 5 square is equal to 25 3 square is equal to 9 under root of 16 is okay, 25 minus 9 is 16 root of 16 is 4 therefore adjacent value is 4 now in triangle cos a is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse that is 4 divided by 5 tan a is equal to opposite side by adjacent side that is 3 by 4 opposite side value is 3 adjacent, adjacent side value is 4 therefore tan a is equal to 3 by 5 now next question if uh, in any triangle abc in any triangle abc given b is equal to side b is equal to root 3 side c is equal to 1 angle a is equal to 30 degrees then find the value of uh, a okay in any triangle abc we have to in this problem we have to find out the side of a uh, write the given uh, given values first of all uh, uh, side b is equal to root 3 side c is equal to 1 angle a is equal to 30 degrees okay now we have to find out the side a value by using cosine rules so cosine rule is what in any triangle abc a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a okay substitute uh, the given values in this uh, cosine rule we get a square is equal to root 3 whole square plus 1 square minus 2 into root 3 into 1 into cos 30 degrees cos 30 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2 2 into root 3 into 1 that is 2 into root 3 into root 3 by 2 2 to cancel we get uh, root 3 whole square is 3 1 whole square is 1 3 plus 1 is 4 root 3 into root 3 is 3 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 a square is equal to 1 then a is equal to root of 1 the a is equal to plus or minus 1 we take only positive values therefore a is equal to 1 therefore the value of side a is 1 now last one find the value of logarithm of 343 to the base 7 okay logarithm of 343 to the base 7 is equal to logarithm of 343 by lcmo 343 can be written as 7 cube 7 7 is a 49 49 7 is a 343 now it is in the form of a logarithm of m to the power of n that is n into logarithm of m this is a property of logarithm logarithm of m to the power of n is equal to n into logarithm of m so we can written as 3 into logarithm of 7 to the base 7 logarithm of 7 to the base 7 is equal to 1 it is in the form of logarithm of base itself is equal to 1 this is also property of logarithm 3 into 1 is equal to 3 therefore logarithm of 343 to the base 7 is equal to 3 okay this is the required solution Prepare very well. Thank you.